guys. Nate's back. We've got Daily Grace from LA on the video phone, right? Hi, Grace. Oh, Whoa! Hi. Look. You're so festive. Yeah, you guys look so great that I um I wanted to add to it, so I made myself an elf out of bubble wrap. You sure did. That's amazing. Very Thank good you. DIY. Yeah. Very last minute. Have you made your holiday sweater yet? We can mail you all the leftover supplies because Chris Gather didn't use any of them. What a minimalist. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna let you hang out with our lovely audience that we have today. They have lots of questions for you, right guys? What Yay. are your questions for Grace? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna let Nate like DJ these comments while I um, go ice my face. Have fun, you guys. Let's do Bye, it. Bye, hey. See you soon. Nate, you have a lot of responsibility. I right know, now. I have so much now. They give me the keys to the place and you're gone and all that stuff. How's it going over there? It's going real nice. I drive a car now, Nate. What? Why do you do that? Yeah, because I have to. Okay. Well, that's uh, great. Let's get into the comments, Grace. Okay. Yeah, I'm into that. Yay! Uh, Megan Sar asked, Grace, what do you want most for Christmas? World peace. Just a whole lot of world peace. World peace. Yeah, uh, what do you want, Nate? Uh, I want a new sweater. Let's a get lot another of... comment, Nate. What? A new comment? Yeah. Yo, okay. Move it along. What I want for Christmas is for you to hurry this along. Oh, okay, okay. Somebody, I didn't get their name, but somebody asked, what is your favorite Christmas dessert? Uh, favorite Christmas dessert? Dessert. Are there special desserts just for Christmas? Mm-hmm. Special desserts for Christmas, like cookies and, uh, I don't know, uh, fudge, right? <laughs> Lots of Christmas fudge. Yeah, that's specialized, um, kind of. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess cookies. Cookies. Yeah, I guess so. Do, do you what know, do you like, Nate? Uh, I like. Uh, Let's get another comment. Oh! Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, Grace. What are you going to get Tim for Christmas? What am I going to get Tim for Christmas? Is he oh my watch? gosh! Okay, I have a very elaborate gift plan for Tim. Okay, what's and that? I can't tell you guys about it can you give us so a hint? just know it's super cool and it's gonna be on the internet in like a month or so you can't see but my eyebrows are going up and down i trust from the bag that your eyebrows are going up and down yeah that's mysterious and kind of ominous and scary grace yeah last year i got him a youtube channel so oh I got right my game. Just keep on giving. Uh, yeah, what are you gonna get, Tim, Nate? I don't know, Tim, Let's really. Let's take another comment. Okay, uh, KMB1114 asks, do you have a Christmas tree? If yeah, real or fake? I do not have a Christmas tree here what? in Los Angeles. I know, isn't that so, like, communist of me? A little bit. But um, I have one at home, my family, and it's fake. That doesn't count. You I know, because you didn't do any work. Allergic. She's You're... a very sensitive woman. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. How can you be allergic to a Christmas or just pine tree or just Christmas trees? Just a Christmas tree. Just Christmas trees. Sounds what like... kind of Christmas tree do you have, Nate? Oh, uh, well, you know, I just kind of. Let's take another question. Okay, yeah. I get the game here. Uh, to what size game? Minrai, uh, I, I never mind. Uh, he asked, did, do, did you believe in Santa Claus when you were younger? And how did you, if so, how did you find out he wasn't real? I did believe in Santa Claus big time when I was younger. Um, I don't remember when I found out that he, well, no, I remember snoop for presents and find them in my mom's room and then gently unwrap them and then wrap them back up. And that's how I knew it didn't exist. That's diabolical. It's really sad, but then I remember in sixth grade, a friend of mine still believed in Santa Claus, and myself and another friend had to be the one to tell her that it wasn't a real kind. So I ruined her life. And that's I hold on to that note every day of my life. Wow. That's yeah. touching. That's a little depressing. It's really depressing. It's right on tone I'm with our episode sorry. today, honestly. Cool. Just What's that? I said it's right on tone with the show today. Yeah, this show has been an interesting emotional roller coaster. Hasn't it though? <laughs> yes. 
I, I got another question. You didn't ask me what my thing about Santa Claus was this time. I, I thought, stopped caring. Oh, yeah. okay. Joanne Choi asks, what's your favorite holiday, uh, alcoholic, alcoholic holiday drink? Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh. Um, ho, ho, ho. Uh, I like, oh, well, I, I'm going to experiment with making vegan eggnog. Why? I'm like a big old asshole saying that, but uh, we're going to try and do that on the What's Trending Holiday special thing. Hannah Hart and I are going to try it. LA has changed yeah. you, Grace. I, it really has. I thought about buying a ginger, and then I realized, like, I'm not going to clean that stuff up, so I just bought you. You know what? So. You know what's interesting though is that you were very confused on Christmas desserts, but holiday alcoholic beverages like that, you knew you had a list, yeah. mental list. Yeah, uh, I consider uh, holiday alcoholic beverages Christmas dessert. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> I think. Okay. The case. <laughs> the Casey and E's asks, "What's the worst gift you've ever given someone for Christmas?" Oh, what's the worst gift I've ever given? I give pretty good gifts, not mm -hmm. to toot my own hat, but I give very thoughtful gifts. And one year, my brother tried to be funny, my older brother, and he gave us all um, wrestler toy doll wrestlers. And uh, Do you know which he also ones? Gave me money, so it was like a cheap gift. And my stepmom got so upset that it wasn't a thoughtful present that we were kind of not allowed to give that jokey gift anymore. <laughs> he got us all like Hulk Hogan, and he was pissed. It was Hulk Hogan? Oh, man. Something like that. And now he's got a sex tape, so she had reason to be pissed. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. What's the worst gift that you've ever given someone, Nate? Given someone? Oh, man. I guess... I think I just, I got somebody like a t-shirt, like a Death Cab t-shirt, and they didn't like Death Cab at all. And for some reason, I thought that was okay. You are horrible. I know, I'm a monster. You are just horrible. I know, I'm really, it's, well, I should have given them wrestler toys. I think that's a good gift. I don't know why you said that's bad. Agree to disagree. Uh, full Load of Alex asks, uh, your thoughts on the world ending? Oh, um... I thought it was today. It, it could it was be today to or the 21st. Yeah, it's the 21st, right? Yeah, it's the 21st. Yeah. Some people think it's today, but it wasn't because yeah. we're still doing this. So, you know. Yeah, and I woke up being like, yeah, we did it. And then I realized like, oh. We did it. We just continued today. being here. Yeah, so we have another like nine days of freaking out. Oh, but what about the 21st uh, then? Yeah, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to make a video of how to survive the Mayan apocalypse. The Mayan apocalypse, not the regular apocalypse. Just No, just the Mayan apocalypse. Great, okay. It'll be everywhere. Well, that's that's all the time we have, Grace. Oh, Nate, Best Beck. Best Beck. So She's coming back to say goodbye. My hatred for you grown three sizes this day. I wow. Bet. Hey, Grace, can we tell them you're in New York next week, right? I am! So Yay. excited! So Grace will be here in the studio with Nate and I for the whole hour. Yay! Yeah. I feel like maybe we'll drink. Maybe? Maybe. Oh, I feel like you can't not. Right. Okay, Grace, thanks for coming on the show. Safe travels, thanks and I'll see you next week. Me. Bye, man.